G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and today I'm here to show you the Picture Keeper Connect. The Picture Keeper Connect is a backup tool that you can use for your phone, tablet, or computer. So let's open this up and take a look inside. I'm here today to talk to you about the Picture Keeper Connect. Now, this was sent to me to review, and I wanted to show you how it works. It is a USB a device that you just plug in to your phone or computer to back up your photos. Just get my letter opener to help me um, get into it. It's well sealed. And here we go, we can pull it out and Ooh, we've got the normal kind of USB and we've got the connector. Let's see what the instructions. I haven't done any research into this because um, I wanted it to be like a reaction video so we could see how it would work in real life. I have heard about the Pitchy Keeper over the years um, and I thought it's a, a great tool for me to check out for some of you who are maybe less tech savvy and would love something more automated. Okay, so we've got the Android mobile instructions and then there's the iPad instructions and then there's all kinds of questions and answers and let's see what we need to do. Okay, download and install the Picture Keeper Connect app. Now let's look at it for our iPad. We want to search for Picture Keeper app and we're going to get that one. So once that's installed, let's just click on open and it's prompting me to allow access to my photos. I'm going to allow notifications as well. I'm just going to pull out my Picture Connect. It's got the little lightning connector there. And it asks if you would like to communicate with Simplified IT Products Picture Keeper Connect. And I'm going to click Allow. And now I'm just going to click Create Account and I can go ahead and create my account. So now I can click Start Backup because it is the first time I've used this one. It would like to access my contacts so that it can back up my contacts to the connect drive, which is fine with me. So um, let's do that. Now it's got, it's found 1,146 photos. I honestly cannot believe that there's that many on my iPad. I didn't think I ever took photos on my iPad. I was wrong. Let's let that process and then we'll be back to see how it works. So now the whole process is done. We can view and print our photos. You can either print locally using your printer app or AirPrint, or you can print via Picture Keeper. And we can see how much space there is left. Our iPad. So that's the iPad down, and it works basically the same on the iPhone. So now let's look at our Android phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the little converter. We have two options here. We've got the USB Type-C and we've got the micro USB. Ours is a, um, our phone uses the USB-C connector. So we just take the cap off there, plug it in there, as they tell us in the instructions here. So I'm gonna get my trusty Android here. Go to the Play Store, Picture Keeper. Picture Keeper Connect.
allow it to access my files. Because I've already created an account, I'm just going to sign in. Now, once I've signed in, it says, do you want to allow the Picture Keeper Connect to access your data, including photos and videos on Picture Keeper? And there is the full detailed instructions on what you'll need to do. We're just going to start backup. And it just prompts me not to disconnect the drive, so I won't. This time I'll leave it here. Um, we can watch it go through 190. I thought that over 1,000 would be a bit boring for you guys, so I spared you that one. So now we have the option to view and print. And again, we have been we have all the details of how many files we've backed up, how much storage we've used. And I can't tell you how simple it is. I mean, I can tell you, it was just that simple. Now I just pull it out and uh, let's move on to the next device. I mean, in an ideal world, I'd love to see these plugs all built in. Like, could you have a four-sided USB? I don't know if that's physically possible, but I love that, um, it can handle any type of computer. So let's open up my MacBook and let's find out how it works on a Mac. So all I need to do is plug the picture keeper into my MacBook. Um, if you have a newer Mac, you can use the adapter for the USB-C port. Um, other just have an old one, so use the standard USB port. It says it would like to access the files on a removable volume, so I just allowed it to do that. You might be prompted to enter your email so that you can get a monthly reminder to back up your photos. I also updated the drive. Um, that's just updating the software that runs on the drive. I recommend doing that. Um, it's pretty easy and automated. So it's asking you if you want to open it again for the first time. And um, yes, I did click open and it just installed the update. And now my picture keeper is super up to date. I wanted to include that in the uh, tutorial because I wanted you to know how you can update the drive and get the most secure copy of picture keeper. Now you can either log in through your email or Facebook. I wanted to just go ahead and start my backup. So I clicked start backup. You'll need to grant access on your Mac to the picture keeper. So you need to go through this whole process, clicking OK on all the prompts and then eventually it started backing up. Now I didn't have any photos on my Mac, so it didn't take very long to complete the backup. And once again, it shows us how many um, percent of the drive is remaining. We've only used 4% so far. You can also log into Facebook and pull your Facebook images off there too, if you'd like to. At the moment, I've saved nearly a thousand images because some of the files on my iPad were duplicates. Now let's jump over to my PC and show you how it works on Windows 10. Yep, we're covering all our bases in this video. So you'll need to double click on Launch Picture Keeper. Newer versions of Windows don't auto run external drives. So just double click on that Launch pic Launch picture keeper and that will start you setting up your drive. Now once again we'll be prompted to install an update and I recommend you go ahead and install the update so you get the latest version of the software which fewer bugs and more features. 
And then it says the picture keeper must be restarted to install the update. So I just close everything. Then just unplug the drive and plug it back in. So now we're greeted with the familiar Picture Keeper app. You can either choose to log in via Facebook or email, or if you're just wanting to back up the fo photos on your computer, you can just click Start Backup. Now, you don't need to log in to use it with your Mac or your PC because it's running the software off the hard drive. So this is really great for people who prefer not to have a login. Now, I prefer to have a login because I'd most likely use the Picture Keeper with a mobile device. And for that, you have to use an app and it's just a different process. So now it is searching my hard drive for photos. Now I have a 16 gigabyte little Picture Keeper stick. The Picture Keeper connects the little 16 gigabyte stick store up to 16 gigs of photos. Now I have probably dozens of gigabytes of photos so it won't be able to fit everything onto this specific Picture Keeper Connect. But there's other Picture Keepers you can purchase. You can purchase the Picture Keeper Pro, you can purchase drives with more space or you can just have a collection of little USB drives like this one. Um, there's often really great deals on the website on the smaller drives. So now the Picture Keeper Connect has finished searching through my hard drive for the photos it can find. It has found 18,347 and now it's backing up all of those photos, skipping duplicates of course, onto the Picture Keeper Connect drive. Now, spoiler alert, it's not going to fit 18,000 images onto this 16 gigabyte drive. And here's what happens when it reaches the end of its space. So I just clicked the X to go out of that screen because I didn't want to purchase another Picture Keeper right now. Um, and now it's just showing me the summary of my completed backup. You can see that it has saved 8,484 files and it skipped 5,494 duplicate files. So the total files saved from all of my devices is nearly 10,000. So I've got 14.2 gigs of photos on this. So you can see it has nicely created one folder for my MacBook Air, one for the desktop computer, one for the iPad and one for the Android phone. And you can go in to each of these folders and see the photos that are from each device. So now you can easily browse the photos. There was none from my MacBook Air. You can see it maintains the same folder structure that you had in the original files which is quite good if you're like me and you're a little fussy about um, keeping things as they are. So we've got the phone, iPad, MacBook and PC all using this OneDrive. And then you can choose, select some files for printing. And then you can choose to print them online. You can choose to print them in a variety of ways, including some photo books through the Picture Keeper store. You can also choose to print at home on your local printer, share them via email, or create a slideshow with your selected photos. So there's other options to change the size of your preview images. You can even print the skipped duplicates so you can see where they are to clean them up, you can also get a backup reminder. All you need to do is pop your email address in there and then you get a reminder to use your picture keeper. So you'll notice that I've just clicked um, start backup and now I've ended up with it finding a lot of duplicate files. That's got to do with how I use my photos on my hard drive. Because I have a business and I create lots of videos like this, each time I create a video, I've got a file full of 
photos that I may have used in other projects. So it sees a lot of duplicates. So what I can do as a more advanced user is I can browse through this where to search location and add a check to the locations of where my photographs are stored. And I can also remove from the list other folders that I don't want it to look at. For example, the ones on my C drive, they are not going to be actual photos. They're just going to be images I use for my business. So Picture Keeper doesn't need to worry about those. I'm glad they've included this more advanced feature for those of us who need to have better control over our photos. And then once the locations are exactly what I'd like, I can click Save Settings and the next time I use my Picture Keeper, it'll just search those locations for photos. Now, if your photos are out of control and you have copies on your desktop, on external hard drives, on iPad, phone, multiple computers, don't worry about any of those details. All you need to do is click the Start Backup button button and it will create a copy, one copy of every image that you have on your hard drive. It's a perfect solution for you if you just want to make sure you have a copy of all of your photos. Now one thing to note is when you're using Picture Keeper, if you then remove the photos from your hard drive or your phone, you no longer have a backup. You only have one copy. So make sure you always have two copies of your photos at minimum. I like to have three, but you know, start, start off with two. And what you need to do to create two copies is either combine Picture Keeper with an online service, such as OneDrive, iCloud, Forever, Google Photos, etc. Or you can just purchase two picture keepers, do a backup on both, and perhaps you might alternate the location. So the picture keeper you have on hand, you back that up once a month, then you give that to your in-laws who live 30 minutes away. <laughs> and then you'll swap the drive back and that's how you could do it manually. Of course, you could combine Picture Keeper with an online backup service or a cloud service. To sum up my review, I think Picture Keeper is an absolutely brilliant system if you're not so tech savvy or if you prefer to not rely on online services. You can grab a Picture Keeper at digiscraphq.com slash Picture Keeper and I hope that you find it a great tool to help you back up your photos.